a lot of these cult documentaries and shows, you know, there's a million of them. I don't know why, Netflix keeps suggesting them to me. I think Netflix thinks I would be a good candidate. They're like, you know, you seem lonely. And I watch them all, they're fascinating. I can't figure it out. I really, it's, I don't I don't mean, I can figure, I get why people can fall for it. You know, we're all idiots. Like you can be persuaded. What I struggle with is every one of these cults, the leader of the cult, this person who has somehow convinced men, women, whoever it is, to give up everything, sometimes die in some cases. Every one of these cults, the leader uh -huh. is hideous. And I don't, they, they're disgusting. I don't understand. They're, they're interviewing one of the victims. It'll just be a woman being like, yeah, oh, Pastor Mark, you know, he, gosh, he's just, he's just so charming. And then they cut to a Richard Nixon with chicken pox. I don't understand. I guess I'm superficial because I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't, I won't even listen to an unattractive doctor. That's true. I won't. Well, your cholesterol's not looking so good. We can say the same thing about your face, doc. You know, I can talk to a medical professional. <laughs> I'd, follow, I'd listen to, oh boy, I would listen to a hot person. I would join a hot person's cult in a heartbeat. If, if, if one. What if one hot teacher had ever encouraged me in any way, I would be an astronaut right now. I would be on Mars, discovering mountains on Mars. Instead, I had the weird, lonely, 60 year old English teacher who was like, your creative writing is very promising. And so I'm here. And <laughs> I'm here. It's a good thing. It's a good thing we don't have any hot politicians. You know, we have some like we have people who are hot for politicians, but they're not regular hot. You know, like they, like because that would be a very dangerous cult. That would be. I feel like people would. If Trump was hot, things would have gone very differently. If if Trump was hot, I would have tried a little bleach. You know, just a, <laughs> give me a shot glass of bleach. He's gorgeous. He has no reason to lie to us. Give me a fucking. So I'm feeling good. I had sex today yeah. with my wife. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ruin it? There was a way bigger cheer for the first part. Married sex is where it's at. Married sex is way better. What's the alternative? Having sex with a stranger in America? Are you insane? That's unwise. I don't... Married sex is better. We still get we still get freaky with it. Just the other day we tried something new. We tried Roadhead. <laughs> it was uh, I listen. I've always wanted that to happen. I don't know. You don't get to pick your aspirations. That was on my sexual bucket list. I don't get to choose what's on that. It was on it, and it finally happened. Oh my god! And it was amazing. It was happening. It was going great. I'm driving along, but I was driving along, and I realized I looked up and I realized I was driving along Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Which felt very disrespectful. Because <laughs> my dream came true, you know? And so that... I said it felt disrespectful. I... I'm not saying... I'm, listen, I'm not saying I'm better than Martin Luther King Jr. I set more realistic goals. I did do that. Like I, He shot for the moon. I shot for the steering wheel. That's the difference. And Anybody can live. I wish we lived in a country where equal justice under the law was easier to come by than oral sex in a moving car. I wish we lived there. But we don't. Maybe someday, you know? As Dr. King once said, the arc of progress is long, you know? Like picture my cum hitting the windshield. So that's kind of... We'll move on quickly. Uh...